Hi, I'm Sylvia Warsham. Welcome to Focus Fridays and welcome to this segment on loss and the lessons it teaches us about love. And just last week, our family experienced a grieving period with our new puppy, Daisy, dying on Sunday or having been put uh, to sleep on Sunday due to a um, genetic condition that they discovered after two weeks of her not being able to eat or uh, go potty or do anything. It was really heartbreaking and there was a lot of suffering that, that she went through. And as a family, it was incomprehensible to us that such a young life to be taken away so soon. Everybody grieves differently. Our five-year-old grieved very differently than say our 15-year-old who really took it very hard uh, along with myself and with my husband. Um, who was there when Daisy took her last breath. And just in her six months of life with us, she taught us so much about love. Even in loss, there, is, there are lessons in love that you can find and see. And, and right now in our world, it is becoming ever so difficult to deal with these lessons because the there is death all around us because of COVID. Um, friends of ours that have lost parents within weeks of each other or even a week. I've had a friend just recently lose her adult son to cancer. It's been a time in our history that has been sad and there's been a lot of loss and yet there's also been a lot of lessons in love. And that's the purpose of today's segment. Loss and the lessons it has taught us about love. And the first lesson that our young pup taught us, Daisy taught us, was to live in the now with so much joy. This lesson is something that we as human beings either struggle with or very few of us actually understand what living in the now is, and that is living in the present. A great deal of us have a lot of regrets and shame and guilt associated with past events, and we spend a lot of time in our past and it's, it affects our present time with our loved ones. And COVID is teaching us that right now, the now is important to live with so much joy because tomorrow is not guaranteed. And that is, that is a lesson that we can all learn from in love. Live in the now with immense joy. And, and the second lesson being, and be grateful for those moments. Be so grateful for the moments you're getting. Um, in her short six months with us, Daisy taught us so much about being grateful every single day. Grateful for the experience of having had her in the first place. Uh, a lot of people, when they go through loss in previous times, they'll focus solely on what they've lost when you shift that focus to what you had with that person and, and you are grateful for having had that experience in the first place, it shifts your whole spirit around and it starts taking you out of that pit that you sink in when you lose someone that you love. And the third and final lesson is in letting go. Letting go of someone that you love. It was so difficult for us to make the decision to put our baby, our fur baby, to sleep. When we were faced with the numbers of there's not else we can do, she was in kidney failure. She had been born with a kidney malformation and her poor little body as it grew could not keep up with it. And she started to decline very, very rapidly. And in letting go, there was a certain peace that we had in that decision. When, when I finally saw my, my fur baby after she was put to sleep, I, I was able to put to rest my feelings about it and to finally let go of it with so much gratitude of having had her in the first place. So those three lessons are the lessons that, that were taught to us this past week that has been difficult in so many ways. Um, with with all the news around us, it's it's easy to get caught up in that. It's easy to be pulled into that. But our world needs us to stay strong, to stay empowered, and and we are here to help you in any way we can. I am Sylvia Worsham. Thank you so much for listening to today's segment on 
loss and the lessons in love. Have a wonderful week. Please stay safe. I'll see you next week. Thank you.